Hello listeners welcome to BMN podcast series 2021-22 Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar once quoted life should be greater rather than long on today's podcast we are going to hear about the father of the indian constitution dr baba saheb ambedkar dr bhimrao ramji ambedkar was born on april 14 1891 he was one of the most extraordinary figures in the history of india but he is much more than what people know about him born into a poor mahar family at mahau indore madhya pradesh at the time the mahar community was considered as one of the untouchable caste dr ambedkar was the 14th and the last child of ramji maloji sapkal and bhima bai sapkal his ancestors had long worked for the army of the british east india company and his father served in the british indian army mahau cantonment In those days the government ensured that all the army personnel and their children were educated and they ran special schools for this purpose this ensured good education for dr ambedkar his father settled in satara maharashtra after his retirement and he was enrolled in a local school he was an intelligent and hard working student but since he was born a shudra meaning untouchable he experienced caste discrimination right from his childhood in school he had to sit on the floor of the classroom the teachers would not touch his notebooks upper caste students would not talk study or play with him despite many difficulties young bhimrao never lost heart his natural ability and determination coupled with some good fortune enabled him to rise above caste prejudice and become one of the founding fathers of the modern india in 1906 when he was just 15 years old he got married to rama bai who was just 9 years old at that time bhimrao continued his studies and passed his matriculation exam from bombay university with flying colors in 1908 He joined the Elphinstone College for further education. In 1912, he obtained his degree in economics and political science from Bombay University. He had won the opportunity to receive postgraduate education from Columbia University in New York. However, he had to return to Bombay in 1917. Here with the help of Shahu Maharaj of Kolhapur he started a fortnightly newspaper the Mook Nayak on January 31 1920 In September 1920 he went back to London to complete his studies He became a barrister and received his doctorate in economics While practicing law in Bombay High Court he tried to promote education for the marginalized castes in order to encourage them to uplift themselves in 1927 ambedkar decided to launch an active movement against untouchability he began with public marches to make public drinking water resources accessible for all and led a satyagraha movement in mahar he also began the struggle for the right to enter the temples and led the kalaram pub temple satyagraha in nashik Dr Ambedkar attended all the three round table conferences in London and actively advocated for the welfare of the marginalized caste. In 1947 when India became independent the first prime minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru invited Dr Ambedkar who had been elected as a member of the constituent assembly from Bengal to join his cabinet as a law minister. He was then appointed as the chairman of the constitution drafting committee and he became the chief architect of the Indian constitution. Along the way he lost his wife Rama and four of his children but he never stopped working for the nation. After the completion of his book Buddha and his Dhamma Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar died on December 6th 1956 at his home in New Delhi. That day is called Mahaparinirvan din which is considered as one of the saddest days for the nation. 
he will always be alive in our thoughts even today after so many years he is still not fully understood or appreciated by the general masses whenever people talk about dr b r ambedkar they always limit him as the masiha of the downtrodden people as the leader of the dalits well that of course is the truth but it would be incomplete to say just that he was truly a multi talented personality he was an intellectual giant he was an economist an anthropologist a sociologist a jurist these are various facts to his personality which people still do not understand my friends this is not all he has done so much more he has made many contributions to many other areas for the integration of india the famous quote i want all people to be indians first indian last and nothing else but indians belongs to dr b r ambedkar and we should live by it thank you for your keen and patient listening stay tuned for more such podcast this is dhunahuja signing off